All right, everyone, I got an awesome laser pointer to show you. Um, I'm going to be selling this on Luke's floor, and uh, it's a Wicked Lasers brand, Krypton Spider 3. If you go to Staples or some of the Arborist uh, Supply websites, you can buy green laser pointers. They're always five milliwatt brightness, usually about 40 bucks or something like that. Um, in the middle of the day, you can point them to a tree of medium size and you can see that green dot. But in broad daylight, full sunshine, uh, if you're shining 80 feet or 100 feet up, it can be really hard to see that green dot from a five milliwatt laser. Uh, this particular laser is rated at over 900 milliwatts. It's over 180 times, almost 200 times brighter than um, a standard $40 green laser pointer. Because it's so powerful, it comes with three safety features that you need to know about. One of them is a key back here, and I can pull this key out, and if the key is not in the laser, you can't uh, press the button to turn the power on. Um, so that's safety feature number one. Safety feature number two is you have to put in a top secret code to turn the laser pointer on. And safety feature number three is that it comes with these uh, dark orange safety glasses um, that you don't need when you're outside, but if you're indoors playing around with it, just trying to burn things or whatever, uh, you can cause permanent damage to your eyes by looking at the reflection from just a few feet away. So um, keep that in mind. If you buy this laser pointer, use these if you're playing around with it inside. So let's see it in action here. First, we'll press it, press the button in the back. The light flashes here to tell us it's ready to be turned on. To be activated. In order to do that, I have to press the code, and the code goes one, two, three, one, two. Okay, there's our beam. It starts out at low power, um, so I'm going to press it again, hold it, and that's going to bring it up to max brightness, and then it'll flash once to let us know that uh, it's at max brightness. So here we go. All right, so that tells us we're at max brightness right now. This is the full uh, over 900 milliwatt. And I could press and hold it again to bring it back down to the low power setting. Um, and it's also worth mentioning that as it's coming down or going up, you can just let go if it gets to a middle point where you want to keep it. Sorry, so... Um, We'll leave it on max brightness to show you. Uh, I have a little matchstick in my hand here, and within a second, it'll light a match. Um, let's do that again, just because it's cool to start things on fire, I guess. Um, and I think it might even light it at the low power setting, so we're gonna give that a shot. It might not do it, but let's try. So I'll press and hold it. So that brings us back down to the low power setting. And then, yeah, not quite bright enough to, uh, to get it burning at that power setting. So we'll bring it back up and almost instantly lights that match on fire. Um, so anyways, that's the, uh, that's the laser pointer. Um, I'll show you everything right now that comes with it. Okay, so uh, you get the uh, safety glasses, of course, that come in a, a nice little, nice little black uh, pouch with the Wicked Lasers logo on it, and then the uh, the laser pointer itself comes in a good velcro sort of heavy duty canvas uh, sheet with a buckle on the back that um, can go on your belt. I say it's sort of heavy duty because it is floppy and flexible uh, but when you put the laser in there it holds it really well. If you flip it upside down it can't fall out. Um, this is the second one of these lasers that I've had and one thing that I have noticed is that uh, I like to put it in the 
laser end down so that when you pull it out, it's kind of ready to go. But the shape of the profile on the front here, it has some kind of sharp points on the, on the cap. Um, this is something that, that will screw off. Um, but it has some sharp points down there. And on my old one, the case wore through from the pressure of those sharp points pressing on the canvas. But if you, uh, I ended up on the old one just take, cutting a little ring of uh, uh, just cardboard and putting it down there and it kind of diffused it or dispersed the pressure. Um, the other things that you'll get, uh, there's a battery in the laser and then you'll get the charger and another battery to go with it. Um, this is a 18650B battery. You can buy them on Amazon. Uh, I think it's like 20 bucks for four of them. Um, they do last a pretty good while. Uh, I think if you just left the beam on for a straight burn, um, it'd probably turn off in about 10 minutes, but that's a really long time if you're just playing with it and turning it off and on. Uh, it'll last a while. So you get the battery and the charger, and this uh, just plugs into the wall. There are adapters that you can buy, um, excuse me, chargers that you can buy on Amazon for $8 or something like that to charge it in your car. And I have one of those in my car that I use for my other laser pointer. But um, so, and then the other thing you get in these three boxes, and in a, in a second we'll look at them more detailed, but uh, there are these attachments that you can take off that cap that I unscrewed and then put these guys on and they each have different patterns on them and uh, to be honest I didn't really use most of these some of them are really cool this one for example is just a straight line it turns the beam into, into a, a line that projects against the wall and, and that could actually come in handy um, I've used it for hanging pictures on the wall because uh, then you can have a level line going all the way across the whole wall. But some of them are polka dots and some are, some are goofy things like spirals and things like that. But we'll look at those in a second. And then the final thing is uh, inside this box, it's called the Lens Expander Kit. And I bought this because um, a lot of the people on the Wicked Laser forums were really uh, psyched about it. And it was kind of expensive. I think it was $150. Um, and it makes the beam fatter. And uh, it's a huge attachment. Um, it's basically a big uh, magnifying glass. Um, but I never figured out what the heck you would use it for. But hey, you get all of this and this gets thrown in with it. And uh, if you are smarter than I am, you'll probably figure out exactly what it's for. Um, I thought it would make it easier to see the beam um, when you're up in the trees, uh, a bigger dot, but it also diffuses the light. So at a really far distance, at a you know quarter mile or something like that, you can't see anything at all, but uh, there might be some applications for it. Clearly there are applications for it that I don't understand. Um, but uh, if you add all this stuff up together, it's well over a thousand dollars worth. Um, and also currently you cannot buy this 900 milliwatt laser from Wicked Lasers. Uh, you can't buy it on eBay because it's against eBay's policy. And um, Wicked Lasers has also stopped selling them in the United States. So people in Canada can get them. If you're overseas somewhere, you can get them. Um, but in the United States, you can't even get them. So uh, I tried selling it on eBay and it got uh, immediately pulled. Um, so I'm gonna sell it on Luke's floor because I have a feeling uh, it won't get pulled and it'll end up in the hands of somebody that can really use it rather than uh, just sitting on my desk collecting dust um, as a, a second backup laser. So uh, we'll take a break right now, get reset up with the camera here and screw on some of those attachment points so you can see what they can do. Okay, so first um, you can see that the serial numbers on the uh, laser matches up with the serial numbers on the uh, this little printout that gives you to show you the actual brightness rating of this laser and they're showing a max if you look down in the middle here, let me set this down here the max of 1.3 watts so that's 1330 watts um, at the max at the peak up here and then it tapers down um, so even the lowest setting if you follow that across even though the laser is sold as being a 900 milliwatt 
um, it's coming in at 1.2 watts, so 1200 at the lowest setting. So it's a super bright, super uh, dangerous <laughs> laser. Um, here's a close-up of the laser itself. Um, that's the click to turn it on and then and then that turns the beam on and uh, you replace the battery oh here's a little key right here this thing pulls out uh, I can't do it one-handed um, but that thing pulls out and then you have to unspin loosen it okay here we go so you unspin this guy right here, and that's where the battery goes in and out. I don't think we need to take that out because you guys are smart and you know what batteries look like. Um, and then that's the attachment at the front. Um, and all the attachments have a little, uh, what do you call it, a little inscription that show you. This one's saying 100%, it's just a straight laser beam. Um, and we'll look at Oh, real quick, uh, that's the charger that plugs into the wall, and there's the battery with the, the code on it. Uh, here's a close-up of the case. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, and then these are all the attachments up here, so let's look at these guys. And they've got a little pattern on them to show you. Uh, that's the one that's a flat line. This one makes a plus sign. That one's kind of cool. It makes all the dots. And then um, the coolest one is this guy right here with the X on it. And what that one's saying is that it'll focus the beam down. Instead of sending a straight beam that'll just go on forever, um, it's gonna focus it down to one spot. And that's the one you wanna use to burn things with if that's what you wanna do. So really, you're getting uh, one, two, three, four, plus six. So you're getting 10 attachments plus the big lens expander. So um, let's put on the burning one first. No, we'll do that one later. That one's a cool one. We'll just put on the one with all the dots to see how that looks. All right, so this one is the dot attachment, and we're gonna do these at the low power setting just for the sake of time. And you'll have to part, part in the, uh, the brick walls, but um, I think that shows it pretty good. You can see it's brighter in the middle and then it fades as you get to the outer portion of it. But uh, it does pretty good and you could probably use that for something. I don't know, right? But let's, let's try one of the other ones. Um, we'll take, uh, I'll take the bullseye one. That one's kind of cool, I guess. Turn that off. Okay, so there's the pattern for that one. We'll show it on the flat wall over here. And uh, I'm not sure if this picks up on the camera. It's not a perfect crisp image. Around the, the perimeter is like, I would say like clouding or something like that. Um, but the bullseye looks pretty darn good. So, uh, and then we'll do, oops, let's turn that beam on. And then we'll do one of the goofy ones, uh, this guy right here. I never figured out anything good to do with this one, but just to show it, uh, just sort of some trippy pattern, kind of looks cool, I guess, but, um, uh, and then the burning one, and we're gonna get it up to max brightness. Um, where did it go? There it is. Okay. So, this is at the low power setting. Uh, all it does is make a funny looking bar. We'll get it up to max brightness. So you'll see as I move the laser beam closer, that bar changes shape. And that lasers don't do that, you know, they should stay the same size. So this is telling us if we get closer and closer, it's gonna focus that down really bright, um, which basically means if I put it on this sheet of paper, right about there, within a matter of seconds, it, it'll burn, not even seconds, like even faster than that, whoop, and right around there. And you can see how quickly it's burning through the paper. Um, and then I think you can see that I'm basically, let me get close here. Oh yeah, you can totally see that, that it's writing on 
uh, on the paper with the laser. You know what, I'm gonna light this up and do it up close. Let's see if this works. Uh, let's get it focus here and then right around there. You can see that smoke coming up. That's kind of cool. Um, so that's, that's, whoops, I was not in frame there, but man, it burns really, really fast. Um, and I don't know, I kind of feel like I could put a piece of firewood right here. This is a, um, old piece of olive that I was doing some work with. Uh, I'm going to see if I can burn something into that. Oh, totally. I think you can see that smoke coming up. Uh, that comes up real clear, and I bet. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. This was totally worth it. Because I just, uh, yeah, you can see that. I wrote my name on the, oh, let's turn it this way so we get better lighting. I just wrote my name on there with a laser beam. Um, so anyways, whoops, let's turn that back. And then we'll get back in focus. All right, so you can burn wood with it really fast, almost instantly. And then let's take the, uh, lens expander kit out. Okay, and then we'll put this on the wall. And so you see a little bit of like glare on the outside, but all it's really done is made the main beam um, uh, bigger. And again, I don't know why you would want to do that, but, but that's what it does. So um, anyways, I think that's everything there is to know about it. Um, the, uh, one second. They're not messing around with these threads. <laughs> the safety information that comes with the laser specifies that this is a... a class 4 laser product let's get that in focus class 4 laser product and you can google what that means if you want to know what class 4 is all about but um <clears throat> that's basically it i think for now i'm gonna put the uh put the uh oops i took the attachment off the lens expander um, I'm going to put the burning attachment back on and see if I can find some really cool things to burn around here. Uh, you'll be able to find this for sale on Luke's floor. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You guys know how to get a hold of me on Facebook or, or anything like that. Um, let me look around and find something really cool to burn. Oh yeah, I thought of a good test for it. Um, we're going to take this sheet of paper. This isn't cool, but, or isn't a cool, fun thing to burn but we're gonna fold it over. We'll see if it'll burn through eight pieces. I don't know if it can do that. We're sure gonna try. Um, I think that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Safety first. And we'll watch to see if we can get that beam showing up through the wall on the other side. All right, here we go, right about there. Oh, it's going. It's trying. Yeah, there we go. We got it. We have burned a hole completely through um, eight sheets of paper. It, it took a good five or ten seconds, but uh, you can see the light shining through, and there's actually some embers in there. It's still burning. Yeah, look at that on the back side. Look at that ember. It is on fire. Probably should put that out, huh? And the other cool thing we can do is do the, uh, the match test again and watch how quickly 
it'll light up a match. All right, here we go. Instant. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's my laser. Uh, let me know if you have questions. It's recording? Yep. Okie dokie. Thank you. Oh, the battery's dead. What? <laughs> Ah, uh, shit.